Hello friends, I know that uh, recently our Governor DeSantis announced that we're going to have the schools closed until April 15th and I know this has brought even added stress to a lot of parents. Um, I'm here to give you a very brief video uh, to give you an exercise and support the parents at home of all the public schools in Florida, hopefully, um, explaining a little bit about just brief tips, mental wellness tips, things that you can do at home that would easily um, guide you through a much better day and, and to just help you cope with everything that's going on at this moment. Um, I always tell uh, my patients that thoughts become things. They, that's why they must keep them beautiful. And I think right now is truly a time where we need to do this. There is a big connection between um, our mental fitness and mental health and our immune system. Our immune system really goes down in moments of stress and fear and anxiety. And so now it's the, the time for us to, to really do some of these exercises. When we are thinking happy thoughts, we know that the uh, neurochemicals that are produced are um, serotonin and dopamine and oxytocin and when we're stressed we produce other sets of neurochemicals like cortisol and adrenaline and this causes more and more of that stress so I'm gonna give you a very brief exercise right now to help you focus on beautiful things um, and because I also say that what we focus on the longest grows the strongest. So let's focus on this and throughout the day, please connect to this video as many times as you wish and do this exercise. We're just going to do it for two minutes or three minutes, uh, but I think it will be very helpful. So right now <clears throat> I'm going to uh, ask you to look at this um, list of affirmations that you have on, on, on a screen read them and see if there's one that calls you more one that jumps out to you more one that you like and you don't if you don't find one there then maybe you can just think of one now just look at the kaleidoscope that's on your screen and start taking a few deep breaths Really deep breaths mean you're going to breathe until it goes down to your stomach. I've had patients before tell me that they cannot breathe down to their stomach, that it just kind of stays there right there on their lungs. So I want you to really try your best to take a deep breath where you actually feel your belly going up a little bit. Hold it for a second or two and then slowly let it come out through your mouth. Very slowly, like if you were gonna blow a candle, but very softly. So again, in. Hold it for a second or two and blow the candle. One more time, in. Hold it and out. By now I hope you have closed your eyes and I want you now to think of the affirmation that you picked on the board. And when any of the thoughts come to your mind just kind of give them wings and let them fly away and go back to the affirmation. We're gonna do this just for a few minutes.
this exercise is going to help you bring you peace. It's going to help you um, make better decisions in times of stress. We um, are not able to think of solutions and options. We just get stuck there. So just do this exercise as much as possible. It will help you calm yourself down. Um, we don't want to be now home uh, being very irritable and losing our temper with uh, the children at home. So this will be something that's going to help you stay centered. And you can do and repeat this exercise as much as possible. You are not going to overdose from this exercise. This is a beautiful thing, right? Um, we can actually practice this and not have to take pills or anything else to calm us down so much. I'm not saying substitute it. I'm not taking you off any pills, but I'm saying sometimes just practicing some of these things uh, can help us much. So I hope this has been helpful. If you want to write to me and make any comments, you're going to see my email and website there on the on the screen and i hope this is helpful for all of you i'm going to do, be doing from time to time brief videos to just give you a little you know coping skill here and there and little tools that you can use with your children now at home um, i hope to see you again soon goodbye